In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you how to add two binary numbers together. Now, this is something we've already discussed in a previous lesson, but now I want to go over it more comprehensively. So, let's take a binary number and consider adding it to another arbitrary binary number. Now, how do you do this? First of all, the way that I've shown you already to do this is that you create a new addition problem with multiple terms by basically adding the digits that you can in your head. So what we can do is we can say, okay, 1 and 0 is 1, and we write out 1. And then we can say 2 and 2 is 4, and we can write out 4 in binary. And then we can say 4 and 4 is 8 we can write out 8 in binary and if it's simple enough we just simply drop down the ones and we have our answer so that's one way to do it now I'm going to show you another way to do it so let's take another binary number and look at how we add it together okay so this time I'm going to show you how to do binary addition where you carry the 1. Now, if you have a column in binary that has two ones, the result is always going to be that you will carry a 1 to the next column over and put a 0 under the column that had two ones. And then you'll repeat the process going over to the left. So in the next column, the 2's column, we have two ones, that means one is going to carry over and a zero is going to drop down. And then now in the fours column we have two ones, that means it's going to carry over and the zero is going to drop down. Okay, so now what do we do when we have three ones? When you have three ones, you're still going to carry over a one, but instead of dropping down a zero, you're going to drop down a one and then finally drop down the last one and you have your answer and we can test this very easily by knowing that this is 8 plus 3 which is 11 and we know that this is um, 13 so 11 and 13 is going to be 24 so we know that the answer needs to be 24 and we can simply check it by saying 16 and 8 and we know that it's going to be 24 so that's how this method of binary addition works so let me recap the rules all you have to remember is that if a column has all zeros you drop down a zero if a column has a 1 and a 0 you drop down a 1. If a column has two ones, you carry a 1 and then you drop down a 0. And if a column has three ones, you carry the 1 and you drop down a 1. Now let's look at this again, again with a different example. So I'm going to write out a longer binary number and let's see how this works okay so remember the rules if you have two ones you carry a one you drop down a zero if you have three ones you carry a one and you drop down a one okay now we have two ones we carry a one we drop down a zero two ones we carry a one we drop down a zero we have a one and zeros so we just drop down a one we have two ones we carry a one we drop down a zero two ones we carry a one we drop down a zero two ones, we carry a one, we drop down the zero, and finally we drop down the one. And it's that simple. Now, if you want to test this, all we have to do is say 64 plus 32 plus 13. I'm sorry, plus 11. And here we have 
128 plus 32 plus 7. So we can, we can of course say that 32 and 7 is 39. And now we can plug this into a calculator really quickly. And we will see that the first number becomes 107. And the second number will become 167. So we, we know what the top two numbers are, and now we can look at the bottom number. And of course, we have the ones place, the twos place. So we know there's going to be a two. Then we have the four, eight, 16. So we know there's going to be 16. And then 32, 64, 128, and hold on. And of course, 256. So, 256. And if we add that together, we get 274. So all we have to do now is check to see if we're right. So we take 107 plus 167, and sure enough, you will get 274. So that is how you add two binary numbers together. So let's just recap one more time. Whenever you add two binary numbers together, there's only so many possibilities. If there are all zeros in a column, such as this, you just drop down the zero. If there is only a single one in the column, then you drop down the one. If there are two ones in the column, then you carry a one and you drop down a zero. And lastly, if there are three ones in a column, which can only occur by carrying a one, then you drop down a one and you carry a one to the next column over. And that's how you do it. So that is, that is the more correct way of adding together two binary numbers in a, in a professional setting. If you're looking at a long string of binary numbers that you need to add with another string of binary numbers, it's going to be a lot quicker to use that method than it would be to try and either convert it to decimal first or to try and write out a new addition problem with 10 different terms. So that is how you add two binary numbers together. If you have any questions, feel free to post them, and I hope this lesson have been, has been of help to you. Remember that all lessons are published free of charge at highercomputingforeveryone.com.